Students at Cheshire High will be learning from home for the next two days after a cafeteria worker came down with COVID-like symptoms. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live at the Mobile Newsroom in Cheshire with what he's learned about this. Matt? Well, Kara, Cheshire is waiting for the test results, but they decided that they would send their high schoolers home before lunch today, just out of an abundance of caution. That's because with the close quarters of the kitchen area, there's the potential for close contact with other food service staffers. And, you know, Cheshire's not alone. There are other districts across Connecticut that are having to be flexible to keep students, staff, and the community safe. Cheshire High students headed home early after concerns over COVID popped up. It's crazy. They just told us that uh, someone, you know, doesn't have it, but they're showing symptoms. Turns out it's a member of Cheshire's food service team. The superintendent says they learned this morning that the cafeteria worker recently developed COVID-like symptoms. Everyone rolled with it very well. However, everyone is just a little bit anxious, I guess, because this is obviously something where it's like you hoped it wouldn't happen, but you know, obviously it did. And while they wait for test results, the high school, which already uses a hybrid model, will now switch to remote learning for at least the next two days. I had a feeling it was coming. <laughs> Sooner or later. With Connecticut's numbers climbing, plenty of school districts are making changes. Right next to Cheshire, Hamden's Board of Ed voted this weekend to keep its kids out of the classroom starting next Monday and staying with distance learning until January 19th. Bridgeport closed all of its schools today, saying it didn't have enough staff after a number of teachers were exposed at non-school gatherings. They'll switch to full remote learning a week from today. In Portland, the high school shifted to distance learning until at least Wednesday after contact tracing resulted in 73 students and six staffers quarantining for two weeks. And Waterbury's Westside Middle School transitioned to distance learning through Wednesday after three staff members and one student tested positive for COVID-19. You always want to be in school, you know, with your friends, but I think you got to, you know, realize that, that that can't happen now. And while districts are responding to the current trends, some parents tell us they will too. We're actually planning on keeping our kids home for a few weeks after Thanksgiving because we just don't know if people are going to be safe. And we figured if we do it for a few weeks, we'll see if it spikes. And if not, we'll, we'll put them back in, but better safe than sorry. Now, Cheshire superintendent said that the hope is to have students back here at the high school on Thursday. But again, that's all going to depend on those test results. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Cheshire. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.